Mary's Sutton's class, I'm here with Angel to discuss the process of the mosaics they've been making in their class. So Angel, explain the meaning behind this one right here. Right. Well, the mirror as a whole kind of represents all of Lynn. It has a bunch of different parts to it that represent a lot of different elements. And this one specifically represents immigration and the diversity in Lynn, specifically because of the airplane. And also, um, the butterflies are a symbol of immigration. And I really like this piece, well, not only because I worked on it, but also because other people worked on it. And I think that's the coolest thing about this mosaic is it's a collaborative effort to make something that's really meaningful and valuable to a lot of us. So, yeah, you've got the airplane here, the sky, and the butterflies, and this is just one piece of the puzzle. And when it all comes together, it's going to be a beautiful representation of the culture and diversity and everything that makes Lynn, Lynn. Very meaningful indeed. Here we have all the famous areas that we've been to in Lynn. Most of us have been to. So here we have the barbershop where we just came to get a nice fresh cut. Here we have the FOMO market and then Tipico Boba Tea Store along with Taco Bell and Walnut Street Cafe. This is just a street of all the stores, the famous stores in Lynn. We started with sketching. Here you can see the sketching because the tiles, we haven't started with FOMO Market yet. And then after we finished the sketching, we placed on the tiles, we glued them down. And um, this is the progress so far. You can see the butterflies and um, the brick building. And yeah. So this is our part of the mural and it's supposed to represent culture and tradition. So in the background, you can see it's like the continents and the oceans. And here it's supposed to be um, a Haitian traditional dress. Here is supposed to be a Guatemalan um, shoe, monarch butterfly. This is supposed to be um, an Irish shoe and this is supposed to be a Cambodian gold bracelet. This is one of the first murals that we've actually completed. It's actually, um, it's called Every Person. The reason why we call it Every Person because once it's in the wall and you stand in front of it, you could see yourself and everybody that stands in front of it. So this mural is made up entirely of glass tiles. We have the person holding a compass depicting Massachusetts and the heart represents Lynn because it's the heart of Lynn. All right, Angel, so tell me what it was like working with the glass mosaic tiles at first. Um, it was a little nerve-wracking at first, I can't lie, but Miss Sutton was really good at making sure that we all knew the proper safety procedures for it, that we all wore goggles, and also that we all disinfect the goggles, so it was a little nerve-wracking, but then you get used to it and it actually becomes pretty relaxing even. Hmm. Indeed, seems like a very relaxing activity. Um, so once these are all finished, how do you think the mosaics are all going to come together at the end of the process? So right now we're just laying out all the designs and we're doing it on like a mesh net, so then eventually we're going to line them all up with like concrete. The concrete will go through the mesh and kind of hold it together and then we're going to put grout um, on top and then smooth it out and that will go in between the cracks of each tile which is why we're leaving a little gap in between each tile so that way when we're done they'll all be able to like stick together and I'm really excited for that process and to see it all completed. Okay. Seems like a very interesting process to work on. Well I'm sure everyone at Classical will be excited to see these finally on display.